Well, you know, it's almost fall when we're already talking about cider and donuts. Franklin Cider Mill in Bloomfield Hills open for the season this weekend. Here to tell us all about what you can check out this year are co-owners Melanie Peltz Radner and Laura Peltz. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having us today. Good, good morning on this beautiful morning. So I will start with you, Melanie. Tell us what is new this season at Franklin Cider Mill. So what's new this season is we are now open inside and outside. Last year we closed our indoors. This year we are open fully. It is mask required if you do come indoors. You also have the availability to come see the cider being pressed once again, which I know a lot of our old time customers really miss that. So that is open and we are still doing our online ordering to keep everybody safe and make sure everyone still feels comfortable with you know, what's happening. We have brought back our cider dogs, our famous hot dogs and cider dogs that everybody's been asking for. They are grilled fresh starting at 11 o'clock till 530. And they are either you can soak them in cider or they are in water, whichever one you prefer. It's it's great to see the indoors open again, that return to normalcy. I know everyone's looking forward to that. Now, the mill yeah. is family owned and operated. Can you tell us a little bit about your history for those who don't already know? Sure. In the middle 1960s, my father acquired the mill. He had been in the food business and this was a natural um, place for him to be interested in. And so he ran the mill, then my brother ran the mill and Mel and I are the next generation running the mill now and we're delighted to do it. It's been great fun. That's great to see it maintaining that family tradition there, Laura. And I know this year the mill is working with the Franklin Village Library for a pretty cool initiative. Can you tell us about the monthly book hour? I'm sure a lot of parents want to know about that. Sure. Once a month on a Saturday morning, we're going to be um, partnering with the Franklin Library to speak about things that all the children who come to the mill ask questions about. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have one of our months, we're going to be targeting apples next one donuts of course and finally our favorite franklin cider mill ducks will be our third topic so we're looking forward to all of these and eager to have families join us on saturday morning and it will be a fun experience for all love that now let's talk about the cider what goes into the perfect batch i know you probably can't give away everything but give us a little hint what makes your cider different well, I think it all just depends on what apples are being cropped each season. And we have somebody who's been with us since my grandfather and now, you know, my father, he's been here forever. And we call him kind of like the chemist, you know, behind the cider making and he can't give away his secrets. But right now we have unbelievable apples. We have, you know, early on, we have Honeycrisp, we have Ginger Gold, we have Paula Red. So those mixed together with a couple other little secret things makes our <laughs> unbelievable cider. And I was just gonna ask about the apples, but since you brought up the cider, and I know it's not only used for drinking, you hinted that the cider dogs are back this year. So talk to us about the cider dogs. This is not something that you would immediately think cider could be used for, but they're delicious. I've had them. They're really good. So, so tell us what goes into the cider dog. I, I agree with you. People say cider dogs. What does that taste like? We overnight them, we marinate them in cider. When we end up putting them on the grill, you know, obviously some of the cider comes out. But I had a friend yesterday who came in and said, I need to try the cider dog and I gave her one and she said, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. So people are hesitant and they try it and that's what keeps them bringing back for more. You still have, you know, your, we sell the Hebrew National, big giant, you know, kosher hot dogs or jumbo and we grill the bun for, you know, for perfection and it just, it's an incredible taste. So happy those are back this year. Ladies, before we let you go, Melanie and Laura, um, remind folks where they can learn more information about Franklin Cider Mill and your location, please. Sure. We are located on the corner, that's the best way to explain it, the corner of Franklin Road and 14 Mile Road, just one mile west of Telegraph. So that's our location. And we are eager to have folks come on by this year. It's gonna be a very exciting season. We have our, every weekend, we've got our mellow jazz player where children dance in his bubbles, can play on his instruments. And it's just a delightful weekend here. Looking forward to everybody coming out. And we are open Labor Day. So come on over and visit us and test our new cider for this year. Real quick, we're open seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can find all the information at franklincidermill.com and you can also do your online ordering from that when you click onto our website. Melanie Peltz-Radner and Laura Peltz of Franklin Cider Mill, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank, thank you. you so much, have a great day.